Alright, the boat we're testing today is a 1999 18-foot aluminum weld intruder with the Sport Jet, which is a 175 horse two-stroke oil-injected XR2 motor setting on top of a Mercury Sport Jet unit. Boat is nicely appointed, side bench seats. This one has a live well in it. Starboard side, dry storage or safety equipment. Storage seats underneath the main seats and a lockable glove box. Additionally, the boat is equipped with a pedestal front seat and a North River style anchor bracket and a homemade anchor. It has a wide optics hummingbird fish finder on it. As you see, it's got a horn, bilge pump, bait well, running lights, blower, and a single wiper. Very nice boat. So what we're going to do, sit down. Sport jets are unique in the fact that they are a two-stroke. So they're a little noisier, but they have a lot of horsepower. That's an indicator horn that lets you know that everything is functioning properly when you start it. It's that simple. Now remember, jets are always in gear, be it forward or reverse. But they're always pumping water. So you have to be ready for that when you start them. Now what I'm going to do here is loose my bow line. back a little further here. And we'll be getting underway. Now, like I said, I'm in neutral, but the boat is still pushing forward. As we look at the dash, you'll see that the Hobbs meter or the hour meter only has 80 hours on it. So it's a low hour unit for a 1999. I'm running the boat with the windshield open and the top open because it's a beautiful day on 10 Mile Lakes. Moving up on the uh, 4th of July, so it's about time we got some nice weather. We're going to idle out of the no-wake zone. As we look around, you can see off to our right, which would be to the northwest, the fuel dock and Lakeshore Lodge, and there's the Lakeside Fire and Rescue boat that they use here on the lake. Lots of people using this lake. It's a multi-purpose lake for both fishing and for skiing and family. Just fun. Something I like to do when I first get in a boat like this is check the steering and the pump controls. So basically we're going to spin the boat one way in reverse and then the other way to make sure that it does what it's supposed to do. These sport jets actually have a ram horn water director on them which gives it a bunch more control in reverse. This particular design was created by the Hamilton Company on their uh, 212 pumps to give everybody better steering by the dock. It was also picked up by Extreme and several of the other pump makers. Mercury started out with this on theirs, and so it, uh, it's a pretty unique system, but it gives you good steering in reverse. As you see, it comes right back around. These sport jets are very quickly coupled. They're designed for really quick steering for running up rivers. They also have plenty of power and you'll see that in just a minute. Now 
Now something I always do is a countdown on how long it takes to plane a boat. We start with the motor in gear at idle, give it full throttle and count it down. So, 1001, 1002. Clearly on plane in three seconds. Brakes too. <laughs> Jets are fun. All right, I'm going to walk around here in the boat for just a minute, show you how stable it is. Ah, there's why. Remember, always cut your bow line just a little bit short of your pump intake. That way, you don't have issues out on the water. Thought I heard it bouncing against the side of the boat. Again, very quick boat to plane. Zero to 50 in about three seconds. Again, 1999, 18-foot Alumweld Intruder Sport Jet, 175 horsepower inboard jet. 